Hello, beautifuls! Well, welcome to the Look of You Live, the place where we help you unlock your individual style and beauty. Happy National Compliment, Compliment Day! Day! Oh my word, that was so fun. That was so much fun. Did you guys like that video? We had so much fun doing that. Yes, I had so much fun. Um, she did all of it, but it was fun to listen to the creation of it and to see the end result. And it's just amazing. So mm -hmm. we are challenging you to leave random notes of encouragement all over the place in your family, mm -hmm. when you're out and about, for your waiter or waitress, wherever you're at, and then take a picture or a video and hashtag it the look of you and hashtag National Compliment Day. We want to see how many people we can just absolutely encourage all around the world. We love it. So even though today is actually National Compliment Day, mm -hmm. let's flood this weekend with compliments. I agree. Absolutely. Like flood it wherever you're at. And we want to see yeah. your beautiful pictures. So whether it is on Facebook or Instagram, mm -hmm. just hashtag us away. We want to see how you are spreading love because we want 2019 to encourage everyone and build everyone up. We do. Absolutely. So if you're on Facebook, let's get the word out, like this broadcast, share it with all your besties, because let's see how far we can get this to go. Yes. And Faith Ann did catch that I stopped at the makeup section. She did. I love it. Hey, Faith. Hey, Stacy. Hi, Amy. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Megan. Hi, Carrie. Oh, my word. Everybody's popping on. I know. Yay. I love it. And welcome if you are on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're not only subscribed, but that you hit that notification bell right, right down, down there. there. And we learned something about YouTube tonight. If you are on an Android phone, you're not necessarily going to see the bell. I know. One of our besties is like, I don't see you go live. Uh -huh. I don't see your YouTubes. And so make sure if you're on an Android that you go to the Dex version and hit that notification yes, bell. Yes, because we upload four times a week and mm -hmm. we don't want you to miss out. No. All right, beautifuls. We're talking Ooh. about your tatas tonight. We are. <laughs> We're going to keep them in place so they're not all over. Oh, so Amy says, I brought my bestie Lexi. Hello, Lexi. Hi, Lexi. So we're trying, I'm, wa I'm waving to the comments. I just so we're right trying out. something new with our comments today, so we're not looking down as much because mm -hmm. we want to look. Look, at no phones in our hands. I know. We're like we're, yes. we're hands free. <laughs> we're waving <laughs> the room. We're closing <laughs> something tonight. It's gonna get me dancing on a video. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. you're hysterical. Okay. Woohoo! Who's ready for a cocktail? I, I am. know I am. So we have been doing <laughs> we have been doing a series with Sam Pellegrino. Okay, yes. beautifuls, throw a little cocktail or a water emoji mm -hmm. down in the comments if you have tried these new sparkling waters because they are my favorite. They are so delicious. Now I like um, some really good. Look, Ma, no hands. <laughs> Carrie, you're hysterical. I I like um, I like flavored waters yes. like this. I'm like snapping. That's probably annoying. Sorry, beautifuls. Um, we love I, LaCroix. LaCroix. Mm -hmm. And I have drank that for a long time. And we drank San Pellegrino, mm -hmm. just the regular. And I've drank yes. that even in my global travels. Oh, my word. When this one brought these I'm back so to the office. Excited. I right? was like, oh, look, oh, the look, office. Look. As if we have a big, fancy office. The yeah. kitchen table. Exactly. Let's just be right house. Up. We're meeting, and I'm like, Look what I found. <laughs> That's exactly what she did. And I was like, oh my word, shut the front door. I would like to try the new drink. Yes. Hey Lisa. Hi Lisa. It's so good to see you join. So we we did um the past two weeks, mm -hmm. we have done the lemon lime and we did the tangerine and strawberry. Yes. So tonight is cherry and pomegranate. And I thought, mm -hmm. what better way to end it off than with a childhood classic? Yeah. So I want to know who had a Shirley Temple as a kid growing up. Like did I you? I did. And I was about like such a big girl. Like when I got to order one, okay. Like, it was a big thing. I remember being out with my Aunt Laura. We were picking up mm -hmm. Chinese food of all things, like for a big family thing. Yes. And it wasn't ready and we got to sit at the bar. <laughs> At the bar of a Chinese place. Yeah, now remember, this is back away. So uh, yeah. um, that's um, when kids could go into the bar. But it wasn't like a bar bar. It was like 
Okay, so it's like, you know, B-dubs has like the little section back there. Yes, beautiful. I hope you're following the journey this year between the look and here, because this one's spicier than ever. <laughs> so cute. She was observing people this week, and now she's sitting at a bar as a kid. So anyway, so what else is going to happen? We're waiting for our Chinese food, and she ordered me a Shirley Temple, and I felt right. so grown up. I think I was like nine. Yeah, Megan's had a Shirley Temple. Oh, oh. so in honor of a Shirley Temple, we are doing a Dirty Shirley. Of course we're doing a Dirty Shirley. Why would you do anything else? I'm going to try this. All right. Are you ready? So this is it's grenadine. So oh, it's so pretty. It is grenadine. I use raspberry vodka. You could use cherry. You could use plain. And then we topped it with that San Pellegrino. Mm -hmm. It's very, it's very cherry. You got to like cherry beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's not heavy. It's light. It's a light cherry. Like yes. a refreshing. It's not heavy at all. It's not syrupy. Or... And it's the, what makes it syrupy is actually mm -hmm. the grenadine. Oh, so okay. I went a little too heavy with the grenadine. I should have gone a little bit heavier with the vodka. <laughs> well, and that's for another time. Carrie says that explains a lot. It does. You are funny. <laughs> so, so. Um, so fun fact, the Shirley Temple actually was named after Shirley Temple. I love Shirley Temple. How many of you watch Shirley Temple movies? I love old movies. It was made for her for her 10th birthday when oh, she was out God. to dinner with her family and some other celebrities that were older to drink. Mm -hmm. And then another fun fact, she absolutely hated that the, the drink was named after her. <laughs> Ironic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, irony at its best. Jacqueline says, sign me up for that one. Yeah, yeah. Jacqueline, it Jacqueline, is really good. And I love you the like it because it's light. Really, it is. Honestly. And it's made with the sparkling water. So you're getting just a little bit of grenadine, the little bit of vodka and the sparkling water. So mm -hmm. in terms of like calories, this isn't like a, a white Russian that's got cream. And yeah. Yeah. Even though that one's good too. It is good. All right. So yes, mm, you know, every week we have a one in one. So Lexi's new. She doesn't know this and anyone mm -hmm. else is new on Thursday nights. We review one product in one minute or less, mm -hmm. all different kinds of products. And so tonight, this was really fun how this product came to be. It really was because it was completely new to you. It was. I, I have changed up a bunch of things at the end of mm -hmm. last year, like just before the holidays I started, um, the journey to just feel better yeah because I've been so tired and I um I added protein smoothies for my breakfast and I was like I found this protein smoothie and I am in love with it yeah. and I showed her the product she's like I've used that for years I was like <laughs> What you hold out for? for Thanks us. for sharing, Bestie. You're right. And I was like, I'm sorry. So we are actually talking about it's Vega. It's the I use the protein and greens. Mm -hmm. Um, and I know they have a few different ones. But they do. I love this. I get the vanilla. They have mm -hmm. a ton of flavors. I want to say there's like seven or eight flavors. There, there are seven or eight flavors. So here's here's why I ended up getting this. I was training for a half marathon about four years ago now and I am a vegetarian and so I and I, I can't do any artificial mm -hmm. sweetener size color I can't I can't do that my body won't tolerate it and so I had to look for a line of products that I could actually help train with and um, I did a bunch of research and ended up uh, falling in love with this product so not only do they have protein shakes but they also have, let's see here, Amy's. Amy has the same, same one. one. And Jack yeah. like, yes, I have that in my yes, pantry. Yes, right. And so Great I don't. It's just a smoothie. They, it is. And then I don't know if either of you have used their pre-workout or their recovery drinks. I mean, their whole line is phenomenal. But I, we are talking about this in one yeah. minute or less. I'm going to zip it back. It's gluten-free. It's gluten-free. It's vegan. It's vegan. We're reading this. Gluten-free, vegan, no added sugar, no artificial colors, flavors, mm -hmm. preservatives, and it's non-GMO. No, and it's not chalky. No, you know, a lot, a lot of them I tried, especially because this is a pea protein. It can get mm -hmm. a weird flavor, and it can get chalky. And yes. that's when I, I, yes. I liked the texture. I am big on texture, and mm -hmm. I don't like grit. 
if, no. if it has grit, I'm not going to use it. And right. It, it doesn't. It dissolves smooth. I will say it was. It is green. It's yellowish green. It, it is. Because you have the greens added. And I think that's a great thing to do. Then you don't have to put your spinach and everything down in there. Exactly. So the way mm -hmm. I do it is I will do eight ounces of unsweetened almond milk. I will do a couple of frozen strawberries, a scoop of this. Mm -hmm. And I do 12 ounces of this. So the... Um, unsweetened vanilla, almond, and cashew milk, and then I do two scoops of the protein, some frozen strawberries, and I do peanut butter powder in mine, and then I top it off with a little bit more water, so I end up yes. with a larger shake. You do. Yeah. Um, I, I cannot drink much more than eight ounces with the stuff in it. I mm -hmm. get too full. Yeah, it does fill in, and I sip it for several hours. Yes, I don't. I Once it's gotten like past the really ice cold phase, I'm, I'm done with You're it. You're done. You're yes. Done. The other thing I wanted to mention is this particular protein, when you make a shake, you get 20 grams of protein. And I don't know if you know this or not, but your body cannot absorb more than 20 grams of protein at a time. So a lot of protein powders are like 40 grams, 35 grams, 65 grams. And you're like, yeah, I got all my protein in one shake. And it's not true. Your body can't. It just ends up wasting it waste because it's waste. Yeah. So... I like that about this too. Yeah. So there you go. Our one product in one minute or less, which we was a little, little over a minute. Over. There you go. Hey, Sierra. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hey, Sierra. Okay. So All are right. we ready for the main thing? We are, but you can stay tuned because there's something going down after the main tapas. Yeah. There's something happening. All right, let's talk about sports bras because it's sure. the season for everyone to be at the gym or a lot of doing new, something. Yeah, and not a lot of New Year's resolutions. You're walking. Uh -huh. I'm spinning. Yes, yeah. and the girls need to be secure. I'm just saying there is nothing worse than having the wrong sports bra for the activity you're doing. No, that's true. Um, and it's more true for you. Like I am very small chested. So sports bras, they I don't need them to function the way you do. I yes. need a different type of functionality for mine. And that's what I love about this tonight. So yes. let's go into some of the, the basics of sports bras first, not so much the support system. Yes. But let's talk fabrication first because that's really important because not only do you want them to hold well, you don't want you don't want ta, -ta sweat. Let's just be real. You are talking with your besties here and your besties mm -hmm. not going to let you down. It is a very uncomfortable thing. Or black eyes. Exactly. Yes. Fan. Right? No, seriously. Seriously. You all know what that means. Yeah. So, all right. The fabric that you're going to look for, you're going to want fabric that is moisture wicking, hands down. And with odor control. Yes. Because um, you don't want your bra to absorb odor and not let it go when you wash it, which can happen. Okay. Mesh panels add extra breathability and they look so cute. And then they do have them with UVA array protection um, in the actual fabrication also, although um, I'm not going without a shirt on. So, But I can tell you, beautifuls, like when I was training for my half marathon and I was running in the summer, I ran in my shorts and a sports bra because it was super, super hot. It's 90 degrees and it's 5 a.m. in the morning with like 90% humidity. I, I'm telling you, I you can't. At 10 miles in, you're like, so I, it could be important to you. It could be. It, it so very much go. could be. So let's talk about the levels of sports bras because you have mm -hmm. different support levels. Yes. So the first one that you were going to have, it's a low level. So this is this is your lightest support, beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you that are larger chested, you're not going to get much out of these. No, you, you, just you don't want these. No. Those beautifuls, anyone from a uh, size C and above, a low level is not for you. No, this is for your A and B cup girls. Yep. Um, and this is good if you're doing something light, like yoga or stretching or Pilates, Pilates or, or bar. bar. Um, even for the smaller cupped girls, you don't want this for running or cycling or... Well, no, you can. You really... I Well, I've worn them. Okay. Yeah. But I, I am a size A. That's that's where I live. That's what I am. That's just what it is, you know. And so, um, 
I can do that. But forget about that. Now, if you're seeing above, you don't want to do, like even with you yoga, do yoga in this. you don't want to do yoga in this. You want to really embrace your body architecture, including mm -hmm. your cup size, and be real about that, live in that truth. It's a beautiful you. We exactly. love it. And we're going to give you things to be able to keep them in place. Exactly. Yeah. So the next level is a medium level. Yeah. So A and B cups, you can use this for a high impact for mm -hmm. C and higher. This can be used for a low to medium impact. And it's going to be things like training at the gym, jogging, cycling, walking. Yeah. And I will say, especially for jogging, like the lowest of low, it can get uncomfortable after a while. I, I will say that okay. for sure. So Definitely medium for those kinds. And then we have the high support. High support. This is the maximum support, women. Like, maximum. Yes, and Megan's in the stream. Beautiful. This includes CrossFit and HIIT. Yes. And, and running and, and dancing. dancing. Well, you know. Yeah, just yeah. dance. Yeah, or if you do, um, what is it, like the workouts with the drumsticks? I can't remember the name of that. I want to do it so bad. Or something like I that. I don't know. It looks super fun. The drumsticks are weighted. Looks fun. Anyways, this kind of bra would be good for that. Um, all right. So there's a difference in how that support happens and why one bra level is rated low, medium, or high versus okay. another. And so let's talk about that. The most supportive bra that you're going to have. So beautifuls, if you have a larger chest, like Shana, like Dana over here, yeah, like Dana, um, the type of support in a bra that's going to be the best for you is an underwire. Now, there are drawbacks. There are pros and cons to every single support system in your bras. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, an underwire is not as flexible as a different type of support. Yes. And and this is not the type of, um, hey, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. She says she loves those random notes. Oh, thank you. Um, so the type of underwire that's in a sports bra is different than what is in an actual bra. Okay. So it's not made out of gauged wire. It is made out of a flexible material, but it still is. Is okay. the least flexible of all. I'm telling you, if you're double D or higher, you may want to really look at a bra that's molded like this because it will give you the best support. Okay. See, I have steered clear of those for my sports bras because I'm like, man, I snap. Okay, this is okay. This is being real with my bestie. You you know, you know. I snap the wires in a regular bra on a regular basis, mm -hmm. just unloading the dishwasher. Like if I put stress, I could hurt someone. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be like your nail. <laughs> okay, so little rabbit hole, are you ready? Side, side bar, this you're gonna hilarious. die. So I'm grocery shopping on Wednesday and I got there later than I normally do. I like to go early in the morning when no one's there and I'm rushing because we have so much on our plate and I went to grab something and beautifuls, you know, we love our impress. We Press do. On nails. We use them all the time. I, I mean, they are great. Never have a problem. I went to grab something. And it caught, look, I still have no nail on this finger because it won't stay on. Hey man, you should have been there. It caught <laughs> and it flicked and it went flying. I couldn't the, find the nail. Someone is going to find, instead of an encouraging note, a random nail. How gross is that? <laughs> if you're in that Myers, did you find it? I apologize. I really looked all over. No. So, we don't want that to happen if you're next to her on the treadmill. And we're just saying. So, exactly. <laughs> so uh, okay. So the underwire that is in a sports bra is not the metal that you keep snapping. Well, this is a little good. more pliable. I think you're going to be okay. No one's eyes are going to be poked out on the treadmill. I'm glad because, <laughs> like I said, I can be doing dishes and I'm like, are you serious? Shut the front door. I just snapped another one. And my husband's like, I'm a little scared. I'm like. <laughs> How do you think I feel? Right? Hey, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Hi. All right. Okay, so, so I will have to try that. So you have one that we actually are going to recommend. I do. I do have one. So all of the sports bras that we are sharing with you tonight, beautifuls, they are on our mm -hmm. shop tab on thelookofyou.com. So yes. after this, if you're curious about 
these bras and you want to look at them for yourself and kind of see is that one I want to try we have it all there for you click it go yes. check it out yeah um, so this one is um, the champion performance bra power shape max support sports bra and it oh, we're up here oh so sorry she jumped in back head. up I wondered I was like that I don't think that's it no no this is the wool call oh, yes wool. Walk call, wool call. Well, I can never pronounce it, but it's an actual um, lingerie maker. It is high impact, girls. It really is. And so this will fit a 32C to a 42H. And that's why I wanted to include this one because it is it is the bra that has the one of the largest size ranges and the most supportive construction. Awesome. There you go. All, All right. right. Let's now go moving on to the ones you wanted to talk yeah, about, which is the molded bra. Um, this is a pro. This is a comparable sports bra to an underwire using firmer structured areas around the bust. And yes, I had to read my notes because that's a lot of work. That's a whole lot of work. But when you look at this bra, it's really cool because where the underwire would go, they have specifically made um, the type of material underneath it looks and it looks really cool you, i mean it looks it doesn't look like hi my mm -hmm. i'm molded but the way that they've constructed that it's why are you laughing because i'm thinking of my bra saying hi i'm molded sorry i warned you i can see her shaking <laughs> i'm in the corner of my i'm trying to be so yeah anyhow so anyways it's molded and it this you won't have to worry about anyway won't have to worry about taking out the neighbor. No, no. So this really is the Champion Perform Performance Powers um, Plus Power Shape Max Supports Bra. My goodness, could they make the names any longer? No, they, they couldn't. They took every adjective they could and put it in there. This is um, range from a 42C to a 44D. So this is definitely specifically for a larger um, busted woman. Yes. All right. Um, the other um, bra that I have in this um, area, this is a really cool bra. Now, this is known for being a really great running bra. So if you're doing HIT, if you're doing CrossFit or running, like those really, those high impact sports where the girls are going to like naturally be moving around, yeah. this bra is awesome for that. And it's, um, the name of the bra is called Catalyst Service Bra from a a uh, brand called NYX. Um, and the range is from a 32A to a 42G. So, I mean, they have made this for everyone. Huge range. So, take a look at that. Um, any, I mean, anyone in that size range, mm -hmm. um, when you click over to their particular website, um, it's really interesting to see how they made this bra. Yes. And yes. Carrie, I am trying to get it together. I know. I know. She's just having. It's, it's ha I'm having a day, girls. I'm just having a day. It's just a fun day. All right. So the last bra that I want to mention is the cupless bra. So this is your least supportive sports bra. Um, it's very comfortable, but it is definitely for our smaller busted women like myself. Yes. Um, this is a good choice for anyone that's an AB size. This is the champion strappy cami sports bra. It comes from extra small to extra extra large. It's super cute. It's happy in the back, which if you saw the back of this, it's so cute for those backless um, shirts that are so popular right now. And it's, it's just a really comfortable sports bra. No support though. So when we, um, he did some 5Ks a few years ago mm -hmm. and I thought, oh, I am wearing these tank tops. I want a cute bra. I want a cute bra to go under them. Because why think about support when I can think about cuteness? Oh my God. And I bought one like that. How'd that work for you? It was you? hilarious. It did nothing in case you were wondering. Right, right. Um, Jacqueline says she can't wait to check out some of these out. I need some um, more supportive sports bras. Jacqueline, there are some really good choices there. You'll yes. have to let us know. Um, beautiful. If any of you, um, Jacqueline included, purchase any of these bras, please let us know what you think. Yes. Because it's really important to us to know um, if something's working and if it's not working, why it's not working for you. Because we that helps us mm -hmm. be able to bring you the best of the best of um, items like this that have a specific purpose. Absolutely. Yeah. All, All right. right. 
So um, the last thing we want to talk about is style and fit. And there are different styles of bras, um, even more than just the supportive or non-supportive. So the first one is a pullover. This type of bra is easy slip over design like a t-shirt. Um, most of these are not highly supportive. They're just really cute. So it's something you could layer over a supportive um, bra. Okay. And um, the con is it can catch on your shoulder blades when taking off. I don't know. Okay. Has anyone gotten stuck in their sports bra besides me? Right? Yes. Okay. So what's even funnier is when your husband stands there and laughs at you and you're going, I'm stuck. Yeah. And you can't get it off. I know. I've had to tell my husband, I'm like, please just lift that over my shoulder blades. It gets caught on my shoulder blades in the back. Like it literally, what? Nothing. I'm like, oh, the face. I'm like, I don't even know if my shoulder blades poke out in the back. I my guess is that because of my body architecture, yes. my shoulder blades do, and it'll get caught. And I'm like, I can't get it up over. So I'll get mine to a certain point, but then it's like the front doesn't cooperate. So then you're kind of stuck, and I feel like Quasimodo. <laughs> I'm like, help me, I'm stuck, and he's laughing. <laughs> Carrie oh. says, I definitely have a hard time fitting sports bras despite being small. My ribs are funky, so it makes. I'm going to, I'm going to attempt it. Oh, good luck. Oh, it worked. Facebook. High five, Facebook. I was going to high five you and she took it away. <laughs> get it you. Makes, I looked, I looked the, yeah. me. Oh, she did. It makes the band really uncomfortable most of the time. I'll have to check out some of these options. Yes, yeah, you will. Definitely. Faith Ann gets stuck in hers. And Amy gets caught on everything. Oh, girl, I'm so oh, with you. There you go. Oh, I'm so goodness. with you. So the one you're talking about. Is actually by Joy Lab. It is from Target. Yes. It very cute. It is. <laughs> it's really cute. It's very cute. Large chested girls. No, okay. So large chested good girl would no. not want this style because it'll give you a unicorn. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> I, I will just gonna say It'd that. It'd be terrible. And, like there would be nothing. It would just be like It'd one unigrow boob. That is be not the crap. look you want. No, we no. don't want you to anything. No, no. Brows, boobs, no. No, you know. No. All right. So the next one is a zip front. And this particular style is fantastic for all sizes. Okay. Yeah. So you can see it's easy in and easy out. You aren't going to get caught in this. You're not going to get stuck or your husband's not going to be laughing at you while you're trying to get out of your sports bra. It's fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. All right. The next one is a racer back bra. Um, these are really, I like these again because of the different types of um, open um, backs that they have on some of the really cute mm -hmm. shirts now. These are really cute. Um, again, this is from Target and this has a little like metallic in it. I like yes, it. it was very cute. Yeah. And the um, last one is for a lot larger chested. Yes. And I can speak to this one because yes, this is my favorite. This is my go to. Um, I have a couple of these and it really works for what I do, which is walking like I don't even know. I call it because, OK, I have short legs. So like my walk is more of kind of like a trot. I feel like a horse. It meaning like I let you come away from hobbits. I come from hobbits, but like that, it's not a jog, but it's not a walk. It's it's a trot. It really is. Okay. Um, so for me, I like it, but the biggest thing I love is the straps in the back. I can wear normal or I can unhook them and cross them. Oh, that's fun. So if awesome, it gives me more support. It does. That is true. So depending on what I'm doing, I know like what I'm gonna do with the straps in the back. So I mm -hmm. like that. And when I cross them, I can wear a more racer back tank. And yes. you don't see my straps as much. Um, I did get this at Lane Bryant and um, sizes. Sizes go from 38C to 48H. So there you go. So it's like so we said. H has to be even bigger than the other one. It's for the larger chested girls, but it mm -hmm. really is. I like it. It is not underwire, but it wears really well. It doesn't pinch. Yeah. It's just not fun. Yeah. And so Megan says razor backs are her favorite. Mm -hmm. I love them too. Faith Ann, zipper is not good for large chested. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Pancakes. Oh. Yes. And I have a problem with them unzipping. Really? I have had a couple. Yes. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> you won't. No. No. Um, then you really will be in trouble. Um, Amy says Lane Bryant bras will change a girl's life. Yes, they will. That's, that's where I... My go-to is right now for, for 
yeah. sports bras and regular bras. Yes, you have really good luck there mm -hmm. for sure. And then Faith Ann says she loves wait, grace her back. Um, that is really good to know. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So there you go. There's our sports bra rundown, a little bit of facts, different choices yeah. for you. Continue. Thank you for We've all the like information you're giving us. That is fantastic. If you have any other questions, let us know. Mm -hmm. um, or anything else that we didn't mention that you're like, oh gosh, I've noticed this works or yes. this doesn't or whatever. We want to know. So or if you have a sports bra that you're loving that we mm. didn't mention, yeah. drop it in the comments because we are always on the hunt for new ones. And we, we know are. all of you all out there are on the hunt. So right. definitely sharing is share. Sharing. Share it with our besties. Yeah, definitely. All right. Yes. Oh, Ooh, I know. I'm like, Thursday nights, it's like, whoo, fast and furious. It, it, is. it is. It is. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, this one has done lots of new things in her life. In 2018, she did things that she thought she would never, could never, or would never do. That is true. Yeah. I did. You did. Mm -hmm. Busted that box of comfort right to pieces. You did. You absolutely did. Yes. Uh huh. So 2019. This, okay. So one of the things that you know about the look of you, or maybe you don't, because Lexi's new. Um, that's right. We have some yeah, new ones in the we stream do have tonight. New people. So what the way the look of you came to be was I am a wardrobe stylist and mm -hmm. I have been for many years. Yes. And so I go into women's closets, I call them the land of possibilities. And I rework them and give you amazing new outfits out of what you already own. She does. Like women are yep. blown away with what she can do in a closet. Yeah. And so I style my besties all the time, right? I style and we I style you anytime you need a new outfit, you call me, right? Yes. But there's something I've never done. So let's talk about that. I don't know what we're talking about. Okay. So I think we I think it might be time. On that note, beautifuls, we no, are I think of, it might be time. We're out of time tonight. I think it might Thank be time. Thank you so much for joining oh, us. Oh, I think next week it grab, might be time. Grab a dirty Shirley. Like, look at the comments. Go shop on our Lex shop oh, tab. Time. All right, beautifuls, until next week, be you to fall because you are the only you. <laughs>